Hey everyone and welcome to another Figma illustration tutorial. In this video, we'll create a campfire illustration that I created recently over on my Instagram so you can check that out as well. So let's get started. Create a rectangle using the rectangle tool. Go into edit mode and move the lower edge towards right. This will create a parallelogram shape. Select the shape and duplicate it using Ctrl plus D and resize it to make a window. Duplicate the bigger shape one more time and this time we are gonna shift it horizontally by right clicking and shift flip horizontal. Then adjust it to make the other side or face of the tent. Now we can add color using the color picker tool, the shortcut for which is I and you can see the hex codes above also. You can see that the door is not properly visible so we move the bottom layer behind the other layers to make it properly visible. For the door, we'll add a triangle and then go into edit mode to edit it. In edit mode, make the ends closer and using the bend tool create some curves instead of straight lines which will create a nice door shape. Then place it over the main triangle and then add color to it. So this creates the tent. Now we will create some fire, so we will need some sticks for it. We will just use rounded rectangles, make some copies of it and just adjust them and place them accordingly to get the wood. Add color to them, rotate and then here we have our wood for a campfire. For the fire shape itself, Let's add a circle, go into edit mode and move the top vertex up. Then we can adjust the corners to make the shape or the top corner more pointy and the curves more precise. Duplicate the shape and resize it to create an inner fire. Add colors and now we can go into edit mode to create some more details. Using the pen tool, add two more points into the inner fire. Move these points accordingly and here we have a nice shape for the inner fire. Resize and group. Now let's create a base for the scene. For this scene, I just used a simple method to create the base. I just used some rectangles, varied them in size and union them together. Then add just some roundness to it and there we have a good looking base. Now we will add some trees. Use the polygon tool to create a triangle and the rectangle tool to get the base for the trees. Or you can watch my previous video to know how to make different kinds of trees and clouds to add to your scene. 
duplicate the trees to get some more Now let's add a moon to the scene, moon or sun depending on what background you keep to choose. And here we have it, our illustration is complete. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Use the basic polygon tool to create a rectangle and a rectangle tool to get rectangle.